Hi, how's it going? Uh, Joey and Cassidy back here um, working on the conversion van. That's uh, a never ending story, but it looks like uh, just to kind of give you guys an update from the last time we were here, I think this is where we're at. I, I'm not sure if we had the flooring in. So we got the flooring in and we got some non toxic glue caulked around the side. I don't, I'm not sure what it's called again, but uh, I think we talked about it in another video. But I uh, ended up using these bolt brackets, which ended up working extremely well. I'm in there putting a lot of extra supports. Uh, mainly because it was on accident, <laughs> but it worked out because it's actually on the driveline of the van, which is when we're going to be on off-road conditions, this is going to have a lot of vibration. So it's actually good that we got, you can't see behind this uh, thing here, but we got a whole nother row of uh, screws there. A couple other things too we did here is we installed some uh, motion windows. Uh, oh, sorry, I got my thumb sore. I jammed it yesterday. Um, but these are pretty nice. They come with a metal screen. And you can slide the screen, you can slide the window. These were a royal pain in the rear end to install. Just be aware, you might want to pay, I think it was only $120 yeah. by the manufacturer to do it. This is not worth it um, and pay somebody to do these. Uh, I did that one. The, when I was cutting that window out, the bit actually ended up breaking and it bent a little bit on the other side. It's not much, it's probably about a quarter inch uh, of dent, but it made me want to put my fist through the window because the everything I had everything just mapped out perfectly this one here was the first one as you can see I ended up bending the metal down because I wanted to put these windows as far back on the van to give us the greatest distance from this point to where my exhaust fan is at so it actually creates the biggest breezeway of air movement well because I did that I put it in an area that was even harder to uh, install because I went all the way to the edge so keep in mind if you're anywhere where there's sections where you're going to be really tight when installing a window try to move it downward and that way so it will uh, help significantly help you in installation and having to do stuff like that it should be fine because i'm probably just going to frame that out with ideally uh, we should have uh, just installed the window so it would have cleared this one back here yeah that yep yep and depending on your van configuration you'll have to figure that out but i'm going to probably end up uh, putting some uh so I'm gonna frame it out with uh, two by twos so it doesn't really matter. So yeah, I think that's about everything we've done since then. I have mounted the heater underneath. I'll give you guys a quick peek. Uh, the SBAR uh, hydronic heater. I'm still in the process of waiting for some tanks to get welded. So I can't, uh, I can't um, install some of the, the, the coolant pump or anything like that, but I'll give you guys a little glimpse. Hopefully this light works. <laughs> of what it looks like down here that I've installed. So I actually went through and installed the mount. And if you can kind of tell, I did it just before the rear tire. Um, I used some stainless steel nut setters um, and uh, stainless steel bolts. And then I painted, if you see that white, that's actually rust uh, proofing paint. I did a couple coats of that. That's what I did with some of those bolts that I ended up underlaying on the van. Um, I got my hose attached to my gas tank for my heater. And then the plumbing, that's what's gonna be the plumbing for my kitchen sink. I still gotta kinda of figure out how I'm gonna work that. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. It's part of what I actually, how I secured some of the bolts for the shower there. I think that's really everything we've done since the last time we guys, we were with you guys. So, um, wow, sorry about all the movement. But uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.